What's up, guys? Uh, today's devotion is called, Do You Really Know Jesus? And I had to ask myself this question many, many times in my life, and I hope this encourages you to honestly ask this question for yourself. Um, so very quickly, let me just explain a little bit of my backstory. Uh, my whole family is Christian. I've been raised Christian my whole life. My dad, ever since I was pretty young, my dad was a pastor and he still is a pastor and growing up I thought I was Christian I thought I knew Jesus but when I went from high school to college I realized that I was basically just going through the motions and calling myself a Christian because my family was and because my dad's a pastor so of course I'm a Christian of course of course I know who Jesus is um, but unfortunately this led to a downhill spiral for me um, because since I didn't know my identity, uh, I tried to find my own identity. You know, I was an early young adult. Uh, I started partying. I started chasing women. I started chasing money. I basically tried anything and everything to escape this existential crisis that I was facing in my own mind. And I stopped calling myself a Christian I stopped thinking about God and I just lived my own life and this went on for years. Um, by the time I was 23, I, or no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm 24 right now. By the time I was 21, uh, I was heavily addicted to nicotine. Uh, I smoked weed every single day. I drank alcohol almost every single day and I got into even worse drugs at some points, but with, with, with all that being said, it's really, I was just trying to escape the torment of my own mind and very hard years, four years of me being lost. But I personally don't think I knew Jesus, you know, in my childhood, in my teen years, I did not know Jesus. My dad was a pastor, his career was teaching people about Jesus, my whole family, Christian, but I did not have a personal relationship with Jesus. I thought I did, uh, and, and it was no one's fault except my own because I just went through the motions and never really took God seriously. Um, so, so yeah, um, I want to give this analogy um, because I think some of you may relate to it. Think about your favorite YouTuber or your favorite actor or actress or your favorite celebrity, wh whoever that may be. I'm going to use the YouTuber analogy for now. Um, so think about your favorite YouTuber right now and envision it in your mind. You know, you've probably seen many of their videos. You've probably been a part of their community. You've commented. You've seen a lot of who they are. Okay. Now, say you just showed up to, to their front door in real life, knocked on their door, they open the door. They may, you may think you know them, but you don't, okay? You know, you know them through videos that they posted online. And when they're, they're going to take one look at you and be like, who are you and what are you doing at my house? You, but you may think you know them. You may think that you have this relationship with them, but you don't. You know information about them. Um, you know, what, what kind of hobbies they, they enjoy. You may know their age. You may even know their height and you may know all these facts about them, but you do not know them. I feel like many, 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 many people, this is how they are with Jesus. They know facts about them. They've learned about him in the Bible. They have all this knowledge about, about Jesus in their mind, but they do not have this personal, meaningful relationship with them. And I'm here to tell you, your life will change for the better if you come to Jesus wanting a true relationship. That's what he wants for us. That's why he came to earth fully man, fully God, experienced life the way we experience it. That's why he died on the cross and rose again. It's one, obviously, to pay for our sins and to be that living sacrifice, but it's to have relationship with us. He created us to have relationship with him. And so the next question would be, well, how do I get to know Jesus and not just 
understand these facts about him? Well, it it does it does get found in the word, the Bible. Uh, it may not be what you think, though. A lot of people, this is how they think they get to know Jesus. They'll open to a book. They'll read it. Maybe they'll read a chapter a day and they'll be like, yeah, that's good. OK, uh, Jesus was generous. Jesus was this good. Good. Great. That's not enough. OK, when I open this word, this holy book, this this is God's authoritative word, God inspired. This is not just some ancient book. This is God's word. When I open this book with the right heart and I want to just spend time with Jesus, I say, God, please speak to me through these words. Please show me what what you want to show me. Please, Lord, show me like and when I'm reading this, I'm not reading this like it's a textbook or like it's an instruction manual. No, I am almost letting letting the book speak to me because um, yesterday's devotion was Hebrews 4.12 for, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It's alive and active because Jesus is the word and this is the word. And so when you're spending time with God, don't just read book, words on a page read it with the heart of God. What do you want me to learn about you? What do you want to speak to me? What do you want to show in my heart? And it doesn't always have to involve the word. Sometimes I put the Bible away. I clear the room of distractions and I just sit there with God. And it's about relationship. It's about getting to know each other because back to your favorite YouTuber analogy, you may open that door and they'll be like, who the heck are you? But um, maybe you go to lunch with them once and you guys talk for a couple hours and then maybe you build this friendship where you invite them to your birthday party and they show up and all of a sudden after a few months or a few years, they're no longer this favorite YouTuber that that you look up to, but they're a friend. And that's what Jesus wants for us. He wants every single one of us to have this deep, meaningful relationship with him. To the point where it never stops growing. That That's the beauty of it is you'll never reach a point where you're like, all right, all right, all right. I get it, Jesus. You're, you're awesome. And, and that's that. No, it's a lifelong discovery, a beautiful, amazing discovery. And then it goes into eternity because if you do know Jesus, you'll spend eternity with him. So hope this is encouraging to you guys today. And um, yeah, have a great day, guys.